come thrifting with me at the Goodwill outlet. I bring my own bag to carry all my things in. They have shopping carts, but they're usually taken up. I usually spend an hour every time I come just to like take my time looking through the bins. You really have to dig. Some people are really friendly too. Like this lady was talking to me in Vietnamese. <laughs> I left this outfit back and regret not getting the pants. They were brown corduroys from Anthropology, so hopefully someone else got them. The cashier mispriced my stuff because I got everything from. Tokyo has a secret district just for thrifting. It's called Shimokitazawa, and it's a neighborhood of snaking lanes brimming with the coolest secondhand and vintage items. I love coming here for style inspiration as everyone here has the coolest looks. It's also a lot calmer here than other parts of Tokyo, so you can feel like you can breathe while you shop, which can be impossible in places like Shibuya 109 or Takeshitadori. Some of the best thrift shops here are Flamingo, Chicago, and some trends I kept seeing was a Y2K California surfer dude aesthetic with Hawaiian shirts and colors colorful vintage tees. I ended up getting this vintage California Bell Helmets green tea, which is Go thrifting with me at 7 a.m. So I woke up at the butt crack of dawn, literally half awake, and put on my comfiest sweatshirt and did my makeup to feel a little more alive than I was. And then it's time to hydrate, so I get my water and also my leftover boba. And then it's time to drive, yay! I get there and I stand in the freezing cold line just thinking of the blessings that are here! Oh my gosh, y'all, these boots are amazing. The thrift gods came through. And then I look through the dresses and i found this beautiful white mama mia dress as well as this tommy white top and also this perfect sweater for the winter as well as this brown banana republic jacket then i try everything on over my clothes in front of everyone because there's actually no dress i'm thrifting with me in where i think is the thrifting capital of sydney newtown our first stop is australian red cross i've been here once before i feel like it's a little bit expensive i found some cute mini skirts and tops but nothing that i loved our second stop had a lot of reworked vintage pieces like these nike sweaters and polos they also had a ton of jorts someone really raided their dad's closet for this next up we have Knopf's op shop i think this was the cheapest op shop so far this skirt was so cute but it was too small and this skirt reminded me of mermaid and both of them were only five dollars and then i went to this store called do white not only did they have a lot of secondhand pieces they also had a lot of festival wear i'm not looking for that right now but i'll definitely keep them in mind come festival season my next stop is u-turn and i love this bag it has cars on them and if this denim dress was tight and short it could have been a look and my last stop was vinnie's gotta end it with a bang and this store was so cute it was
So many toys. Pikachu and Alex. Hello Kitty. No freaking way. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. I love magenta. Wow, wow. Oh my god. Wow, wow. That's kind of fun. So far I found nothing and I only have this section left. He is a beast. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh my god, it's the plush version. <laughs> Power Rangers! I found a little like plush hanging alien. That's kind of cool. For $3. I hate that Minnie and Kitty have the same colors. New pillow pet. All of these Valentines. That is so cool. Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing? Cute. I love Curious George. This is adorable. I love them. I always check for the Hello Kitty hair dryer. Sad. Fake Hello Kitty. Here's the haul. Hi, come thrift with me at Uptown Cheapskate in Lexington, Kentucky. You guys, I did not know about this store until a few months back, and holy crap, you have to run there now. They buy and sell secondhand clothes and accessories. To me, it was like an upscale Play-Doh's Closet plus clothes mentor. I feel like people ages like 20 to probably like 50 could shop here. But look how freaking big it is. They had so many clothes. It was so well organized. They literally have something for everyone. They had women's and men's. They also had new clothing for sale. Hi, it's me. Found this free people zoop and it was only $13.99. Adorable little clips. I had to show these pants. They were so cool. They actually had a lot of cool pants there when I went. I'm like, look at those. Only $13. They had tons and tons of jeans. So many shoes, like name brand. Then at the front, they have like jewelry, accessories, the hair clips some of the new stuff every type of dress from formal to casual clearly i was shook if this was to die for i really wish i got this from nasty gal very affordable they even had hats they had belts they had these uggs that were really cute they had tons of athletic clothes i thought these were so cute these two leather madewell jeans they had nike and vans you just need to check it out for yourself here's where you sell and where you buy of course they have fitting rooms they had scarves fur coats cowboy boots it's in the same shopping center as joanne fabrics on nicholasville road Fortunately, I have discovered that my favorite thrift shop is way too conveniently located to the bus stop that I take to go see my boyfriend every weekend. So now that's where I'm wanting to spend all of my time and I need to get some very strict limits in place if I'm going to keep doing this. Now, this thrift store doesn't take any cards. It's cash only. They do have an ATM, but it charges a fee and I'm trying to stick to a budget. So I just went and scrounged up all the cash that I could find in all of my pockets and purses and I found exactly $23. So that is my budget for today. Unfortunately, these Jimmy Choo's alone were more than that. So they were out of the question immediately. This is actually a really fun challenge to figure out what actually brings me the most joy and what are just random knickknacks that I think are cute and fun and really are not worth the money at all. Although these prices are getting kind of insane. So that helped as well. Look at me trying to justify this as if I'm having any kind of self-control when I'm literally going to the thrift store every week, but we have to start somewhere. Having the added challenge of having to carry everything with me on a bus after this also really helps me limit away from just hoarding glassware because there was so many cute little knickknacks and pots and vases. I did get that vase. Can you blame me? That vase is so freaking cute. I feel like I always get lucky finding incredible vintage nightgowns in the store. How sweet is this little white nighty? And I am so obsessed with this little flutter sleeve blue robe situation. I got both of them and I cannot wait to style them for summertime. Last thing I ended up taking home was this incredible pink satin pillowcase that I'm pretty sure is from the 1950s. I'm going to turn it into a tote bag, but my grand total came out to exactly 20.
Hi, come thrift with me at The Domestic, a vintage store in Lexington, Kentucky. A hidden gem for sure. Look at that dress. I always go to the back first because that's where they have all the clothes and the clothes they do have. Look at all of these. Lots of t-shirts, lots of dresses, tank tops, jackets, vintage purses, hats, belts, anything that you can find. We've also got little trinkets in these booths back here. You could spend hours back here in the clothing section. There are a lot of legit vintage clothes, which is amazing. Stuff you won't find anywhere else. I'm dying for this shelf. It's so cute. There are booths that sell shoes as well. Scarves, jackets, no matter what season. Hi, it's me. Look how cute this little clutch is for only $6. A whole rack of cowboy boots. This really caught my eye and so did this little crochet top. This rack was really fun and funky. Lots of colors, patterns, sequins. And now the home decor section. You could also spend hours in this part too. It's a pretty good mix of vintage and modern. Those rugs you see on the ground are available to rent. There's art, glassware, furniture, of course, like this really cool wicker chair. I believe it was 220. Here's some cool glasses I saw. They of course have wicker and baskets. They have this cool bar cart. They have room dividers, tables, this friggin' thing. This booth has a bunch of books. They have mirrors, wine racks, these adorable placemats, lots of figurines, this cute set, pictures. Corsage Garage has a booth there. It's amazing, of course. Then of course the cutest and sweetest worker there. This is more towards the front. I Let's go thrifting. A little girl just walked out with a ukulele. I hope she doesn't write an apology video. Toys first, of course. What is this thing? <gasps> oh my god, she? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, with the tag? Oh my god. A Squirtle. Is this a Demogorgon? A little Gary keychain? A Minecraft cat? For $2? That's not bad. Oh my god, a Chuck E. Cheese toy. Stitch. Another Stitch. No way, my dad's gonna love this. I broke something. Oops. Horton, here's a who? Ducktail guy? A peach milk? Octonauts? Oh my god, oh my god, it's Dilbert! I've been looking for this for so long for my dad. A little Betty Boop? A new Care Bear? Is this Aurora? That's so cute. No Hello Kitty hair dryer. I don't know this guy, but this backpack is so cute. A sparkly pink lava lamp. I love that. There's an Among Us plush in here. Oh my god, Hoops and Yo-Yo. <laughs> I need to go through these again. Definitely getting the Tamagotchi guy. I don't know about this guy because I just got him Dogbert and he's more of like a small plushies guy. I don't have space for more Minecraft plushies. Okay, I think these three things should be under $15. For this episode, naghan tayo sa ukay dahil naka 20% off sila and ito mga nakita natin. So may nakita tayong Vans collab with NASA pero hindi natin kinuha to. Then may nakita din tayong Revenge Storms kaso hindi natin alam kung legit kaya iniwan na din natin. Pati na din tong Vans collaboration with CDG na paraganda nito. Kaso na sure din if legit. Then may nakita tayong Doc Martens na para solid nito. Pati na din tong New Balance 997. So ayan, libot-libot lang. And nagulat ako dahil nandito pa tong item na to. Pinagkagulohan nito sa last video sa so, mga Up yung notifs ko dito. So ito yung New Balance 574. Size 8.5 US. Brand new condition. Napaka solid nito. Then ito na may mga nakuha nating garments. So first may nakuha tayong the North Face parachute pants. Then may nakuha din tayong palace t-shirt. Next is itong Stussy na t-shirt. Napaka solid nito. Then meron din tayong nakuha champion sweatshirt. Carhartt long sleeves. Then may nakita din tayong polo sport duffel bag. Pero din natin kinuha to. Then after nun may nakuha tayong dalawang Nike sweatshirt. And itong Gap zip up hoodie. So nag-check out na tayo and ang total bill natin is 6,420. Then after noon, food trip muna at kinabukasan, bigla naman sila ng 30% off. Kaya naman bumalik kami para kunin itong mga item na iniwan namin like itong champion hoodie, New York Yankees long sleeves, dalawang Fred Perry na sweatshirt, undefeated na t-shirt, champion script hoodie, then itong Stussy na t-shirt, ito yung front hit niya. Then may nakuha din kami ASSC na t-shirt at yung front hit niya, pati na din itong Gap hoodie and itong Gap na t-shirt. Nakakuha din kami dalawang pants, isang RL and isang Levi. So after nun, nag-check out na din and ang total natin this time is 7,660. And ayun, inabot na nga tayo ng baha kaya umuwi na din tayo agad. So let me know in the comment section. When I tell you guys I had the most insane thrift haul today, I mean insane. I started off in the bag section and boom, first find was this vintage Fendi tote bag. I've been wanting a bigger bag and this one was just insane. I've never seen the shape like this and I love the hardware, it fit my outfit perfectly. And then again, another insane find, this vintage Prada bag, another dupe, but insane, I've never seen that shape. Then I got this little pink alligator bag, Barbie movie, duh, pink is just huge right now. 
Then I went to the shoe section and I found these little square toe platforms. These are so perfectly timed because I just broke mine and I wear them all the time so I grabbed these. I kept looking and I found these pointed boots with these little buckles on the side. They're actually Lily Pulitzer which is shocking because they're very sassy. I don't know, it wasn't giving Lily Pulitzer but I got those. Then I went to the lingerie section and I found this adorable purpley pink little slip dress. I love the floral in it and I just thought even as a cover up it would be perfect for summer. I found this black mesh cami and it has this cute little rhinestone buckle on the chest cutout. And then my favorite piece that I found over there was this vintage slip dress. It is actually the prettiest slip I've ever laid my eyes on. Picture how cute this is gonna be with like my chunky campus boots and a mini bag. Then I went over to the long sleeve section and I got this long sleeve cider cardigan. I thought it would just be a good basic. And I also got this new with tags Urban Outfitters faux leather corset top. It laces up the back and it is so cute and flattering on. I walked past the swim section and I saw this beaded slip cover-up thing. Trust me, I have a vision. It is so insane. I put it on over my dress I had on. I feel like you guys can see the vision. It's so good. Then I also had to stop and grab this red cardigan top. It ties in the front and it's just like a sheer blouse top. I thought this would just be perfect to layer with a mini dress or something when I felt like my outfit was kind of lacking. I'd been looking for some baggy oversized jeans and I found the perfect pair by Calvin Klein. I love vintage Calvin Klein jeans and I love the back tab on them. They're the perfect wash, perfect oversized fit, so I grabbed those. And then I also grabbed these baggy carpenter jeans that look exactly like a pair I just saved at Urban Outfitters for literally a tenth of the price. And on my way out, I hit the skirt section and found this denim maxi. I love styling these with platforms and baby tees or basic tanks. They're just a perfect everything.